if an unsaved person doesn't have Jesus, what price are they gonna pay? They're going to hell. So how could Jesus pay for that with just a physical beating and just a physical death? He had to die physically, but he ought to also face a spiritual death. He had to face both. Physical death, spiritual death, he paid everything. That makes sense. He rose again from the dead. And when he took all those sins upon him and he died, his soul, with all that sin, all that garbage, went to hell. Don't tell me that only his body was dead. Jesus truly died in every sense of the word. Because not only did his spirit, not only did his body die, but his soul went to hell. Okay, that's death. You know, when Jesus died on the cross, they'll say Jesus went to heaven. You know, because, it, you know, you often ask people, well, when Jesus died on the cross, we know his body was in the tomb, but where did his soul go? Did his soul go to heaven or did his soul go to hell? And they'll say, well, he told the thief on the cross, today shalt thou be with me in paradise, so therefore we know Jesus was in heaven. But that is simply not true. Over and over again, the Bible teaches that Jesus Christ was in hell for three days and three nights. Acts 2.31 is the clearest scripture. This spake he of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell.